Recessions enrich the rich while making the poor poorer. Why? The wealthy understand how to take full advantage of the economy and its cycles, whilst the poor are swept up by a market they are unaware of. By the end of this video, you'll not only have a list of 15 strong stocks, but you'll also have a better understanding of how to transition from being a market observer to an active player. Hey, welcome to Stock Market Mate. Today we'll give you 15 top undervalued stocks in the market. But please remember that this is our opinion and that you should always do your own due diligence before taking any positions. Please also note that we made this video in late August, so prices may have changed since you're watching. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're done with that, then let's get right into it. Number 15. UiPath or Path Current price, $18 per share. At number 15 on our list is a company in the automation industry. Bots are being developed to replace humans in global corporations. The stock price has fallen 70% since the IPO, but from an operational standpoint, things appear to have settled down. The company now has co-CEOs who are responsible for different growth divisions, and as everything else settles down, we should see a continuous upward movement. We expect the entire sector to flourish as AI rapidly takes over basic functionalities. We anticipate UiPath will return more than 50% to investors within the next 12 months. Number 14. Starbucks or SBUX Current price, $85 per share. We adore branded firms, and few have greater clout than Starbucks. In the year to date, the stock price has dropped 25%, from $115 to around $85. Business-wise, everything appears to be in order. The corporation recovered well after COVID and even made over $30 billion last year. As the world has returned to normal, more and more people are engaging with Starbucks. Starbucks is a culture of entrepreneurs, writers, and designers working in their coffee shops, which fits into the present narrative. They also produce good coffee. We're treading cautiously here depending on how inflation develops. As rents and commodity prices rise, we may see a second drop in the price. Number 13. Walt Disney or DIS Current price, $120 per share. Disney is currently crushing everything. Everyone assumed it was over after Endgame, but they're still releasing bangers. Disney Plus is rapidly spreading across the globe, giving Amazon, Netflix, and HBO a run for their money. We were left wanting more after seeing the stock decrease 20% in the last six months. And this is an especially intriguing pricing point because Disney stock has rebounded to the level it was at five years ago. So in essence, you're receiving five years of Disney company advancement for the same price as it was back then. Disney made $67.4 billion in revenue last year. And as its digital business expands, more and more of it will make a profit. Number 12. Netflix or NFLX Current price, $240 per share. You might despise Netflix, but we know you binge watch Stranger Things. In our opinion, Netflix's new drop is exceptional. Yes, it was the first time in the company's history that it did not grow as predicted. And yes, they don't have consistent bangers, but the majority of you viewing have a Netflix subscription. Netflix's stock has fallen 36% in the last six months. But the truth is that Netflix is making more money every year. So while the business is fundamentally growing, the stock price has reacted absurdly. Despite the fact that other firms are carving out their own position in the streaming industry, we do not believe Netflix is this undervalued. So it's only a matter of time before the markets begin to correct upward. Number 11. Palantir or PLTR Current price, $8.5 per share. We believe that Peter Thiel is one of the world's finest investors, and Palantir is his baby. Palantir has dropped 20% in the last six months. The firm develops software for national-level organizations. The U.S. government is one of their most important clients. The new world war is one of technology, and the U.S. does not want to lose this battle. Their main weapon is to use cutting-edge technology, and Palantir will play a key role in that. They're also the type of business that can afford to lose money continuously as long as they add value to the state. And despite a $500 million loss last year, they have the assets to cover it as well as the contracts to keep the money coming in. We anticipate that the stock will trade back over $10 per share, so if you get in before that, you should benefit within the next year. Number 10. Coinbase or Coin Current price, $74 per share. We're heading there because this could turn out to be the best trade in the entire list. The largest licensed cryptocurrency exchange in the United States, Coinbase, is trading at $74 per share, down from $350 in November 2021. In the last six months, the stock has dropped by 60%. Now, this is a super fast-growing firm in a new market with margins ranging from 25% to 50% for 
regardless of whether the price of crypto is up or down. Exchanges don't care about the price of the coins traded in their platform because they generate money by charging commissions on those transactions. The number of users is increasing, revenue is increasing, and profits are increasing, yet the stock is tanking. For those of you who are into financial analysis, the profit to earnings ratio is 5.6%, which is unbelievably amazing. For example, Apple has a PE of 23.1%. This is an opportunity for those of you who want to get involved in crypto but don't want to get bogged down in wallets, coins, and exchange setups. Number 9. Spotify or Spot Current price, $111 per share Spotify is yet another company that we believe in. They raised $1.5 billion in funding last year, and they look a lot stronger on paper than the markets would have you believe. Yes, they're one of those companies that loses money every year, but the number of paying consumers is increasing year on year. Spotify has competed with Apple and Google and still created a reputation for itself. We believe they are a realistic possibility for 50% plus returns over the next 12 months. Number 8. Block Incorporated or SQ, formerly Square Incorporated. Current price, $74 per share. Block, formerly Square, was created by Twitter founder Jack Dorsey. Block achieved an all-time high price of $270 back in February 2021 but fell away sharply towards the end of 2021 and has dropped over 20% in the last six months. But with Elon possibly taking over Twitter, Jack is more focused on Block, and we're expecting at least a two-fold increase from where we are today in the next 12 months. Number 7. PayPal or PYPL Current price, $96 per share. PayPal is no longer a chic business, yet it is nonetheless profitable and growing in users. Most people are unaware that PayPal handles 22% of all internet transactions in the United States. Despite this, the company's stock has dropped by 50% in the year to date. The all-time high was $300 per share, and the same share is now worth roughly $96. It's insane. This is a corporation that made $25 billion last year and is expanding all around the world as more individuals have access to online markets. Number 6. Under Armour or UAA Current price, $9 per share. Under Armour has dropped over 40% in the last six months. They're a terrific firm, and their products are just as good as everything else on the list. We adore the underdog role, and how inventive they must be to compete with the big players like Nike and Adidas. They're doing fantastic. They're able to compete by having a lower profit margin of 6% compared to Nike, which has a profit margin of 12%. This is the type of play you make when you want to break into a market and establish a brand. Revenue of $5.6 billion does not lie. In terms of 12-month estimates, we anticipate that the stock will return to above the $20 level. Number 5. Nike or NKE Current price, $113 per share. We adore Nike. We buy items from them because we like them, and they are part of the culture. You should invest in the firms that make the items you enjoy. Don't sell unless their items are no longer meeting your needs. Despite its size, brand power, and reputation, Nike became entangled in the market crosswinds with everyone else. They've dropped 20% in the last six months for a corporation that has routinely increased sales year over year, a firm with about $45 billion in revenue last year. When all of this nonsense fades, the stock will rebound because any company with this kind of brand devotion will be able to survive. We expect 50% or more returns on our Nike investments in 12 months. Number 4. Unity Software or U. Current price, $47 per share. One of our most aggressive plays is Unity. In the realm of gaming engines, there are two major players. Tencent, a Chinese business, and Unity now possess Unreal engines. Although Unreal has infinite funds, Unity has proven to be the underdog that can compete. Their software is capable of producing ultra-realistic graphics. We predict that within the next decade, we will enter what is known as the Uncanny Valley point in technology where you won't be able to distinguish if what you're seeing is a real person or a computer-generated image. Unity is playing a significant role in this, therefore let's stock money. Unity is down 50% in the previous 6 months, with the stock currently trading above $45 per share. From our perspective, this is a wonderful asymmetric risk position with the potential to give investors incredible profits over the following 12 months. The company had $320 million in sales in the first quarter which is around what they paid for Parsec last year. These may be famous last words in this context, but Unity is likely to be fine. Number 3. NVIDIA or NVDA Current price, $178 per share. The metaverse is coming, even if most people don't realize it. 
Everything will be powered by graphics processing units or GPUs. Every computer has one of these. It is responsible for your computer's ability to generate graphics. NVIDIA is a top performer. Everything we see coming will be dependent on the software they generate, including gaming, VR, AR, and metaverse worlds. These markets are expanding at an exponential rate, and GPUs are critical to all of them. NVIDIA is the Goliath in the field, and there's no way they won't generate money in the next decade. Number 2. Adobe or ADBE Current price, $425 per share. Adobe is more than the PDF reader on your computer. Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, After Effects, and a slew of other applications are by far the most popular tools in the creator economy. The vast majority of logos, banners, and other digital content are produced by Adobe. At some point, everyone comes into contact with Adobe products, and this is why they have been profitable year after year since 2017. The stock has dropped about 25% from the year to date and is now trading $425 per share. This is a highly lucrative operation in a rapidly expanding market, with products that are constantly improving. We anticipate a retracement of at least 40% in 12 months, providing investors with at least 40% returns. With the development of Web3, digital will explode, and we're betting big on companies that will help shape this new market. Number 1. Airbnb or ABNB Current price, $115 per share. Airbnb is number one on our list and for a reason. We admire Brian Chesky and what he's doing. The stock has dropped 30% in the last six months and is now trading at $115 per share. This was a corporation that was meant to be destroyed by COVID, but still made $6 billion in revenue last year. Although technology businesses have recently been ravaged, the underlying business is lucrative. We use Airbnb. The product continues to improve and they are regarded as a major rival to the entire hotel sector. We don't expect the equities to stay under $200 per share for the next 12 months, offering investors a possible 50% return. This is a company we admire, with a product we use, a bright future goal, and over $2 billion in free operational cash flow. We encourage you to do your own research and select stocks that you use or trust as well. Having some skin in the game is the only way to learn. Everything you've learned today is not financial advice, but is our opinion, and we're putting our money where our mouth is. Some of you might wish to join in. Make your investments, and then return to this video in a few months to check how your portfolio is doing. Hopefully, we will all be significantly wealthier. This makes us wonder what percentage of annual returns you are okay with. Is it 10, 20, or 50%? Tell us in the comments. Well, that's about it for today. If you found this video helpful, kindly click the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to watch one of these two videos right here. Enjoy!